In Tasmania and Victoria, the Bass Strait is a playground for recreational fishermen right now. It's theorised that this may be due to the ban of super trawlers netting huge amounts of pelagic fish in state waters such as jack mackerel and red bait. Around 10 years ago, we banded together and petitioned over 97,000 signatures to prevent super trawler FV Margaris from entering Commonwealth and state waters. We were that close to having the world's second largest fishing boat completely destroy the Bass Strait and surrounds with their authorised quota of 18,000 tonnes. Super trawler fishing boats are bad for the environment and recreational fishing for several reasons. Firstly, these boats use huge nets that sweep up entire schools of fish, destroying the ecosystem and leaving behind a trail of destruction. It results in the decline in population of fish and other sea creatures affecting the entire food chain. Which brings us back to this episode. Super trawlers over 38 meters in length are banned in Tasmania. And now the strait is holding bait, which we worked so hard to petition for. This has allegedly brought bluefin tuna to the north coast in beautiful large schools. This is a huge win for the environment and especially us recreational fishermen. In this episode, we chase tuna and tag as many as possible to learn pivotal data around this species. So buckle up, the Tiagras are about to scream. Yeah, we Let's go. Oh, there we go. One. One tuna. One. G'day Wallaby Dick, welcome to another little session. Not sure if anything's going to happen today, but this intro is a security measure in case things get a little bit wild. We're straight off Bernie and we're looking for bluefin. And we were just saying that three years ago, if you told somebody that you were trolling for bluefin in this location, they'd think you're mad. Personally, I still think we're mad, but we're going to see if we can make anything happen today. So stand by and thanks for coming along for the journey. We've got Todd on board with me this morning. Hey Todd. Good morning. How are you? Yes, not too bad mate. That's good. And we've got Scotty. Good morning. What do you know Scotty? Uh, we're a surgeon. <laughs> Trying hard. <laughs> See if we can make something happen. Let's get into it. So, objective today, if we do find a couple of nice schoolies, is to get some tags in for the season. And Scotty knows exactly what he's doing here. That's why he's reading it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the tags will be sent off uh, for science. And if the species are caught again, they're not sat tags. If they are caught again, cut the tag off and then re-tag it. Yeah. Fill out a piece of paper with some basic details like their size, uh, approximate weight. Chuck them back in the drink and give them a kiss. And a good practice as well is if you are planning on returning and just tagging, is using single hooks rather than trebles on your lures. We've got one set of trebles out though, so I think uh, if anything hits that, we'll be keeping it. When you are tuna fishing, if not a whole lot appears to be happening, look for a species of bird called a tern. They often hover right above tuna and scout out bait, and they'll lead you straight to the fish. In this instance, that's exactly what happened here. Tuna on! What's that? I can't believe I can still see them jumping behind us. Look, it's just in the white there. Unbelievable. Alrighty, first tuner of the day. Yeah. He hasn't even gone for a run yet, so I don't think he's overly big. 
Oh, yeah, there's his run. Sits under the motor a bit. Next circle. Yep. Walking back. There we go, first tuna for the morning. Nice little, maybe 15 kilo pup, maybe yeah. 10. Yeah, 12, 15. Took the King Brown, we had a full set of skirts out. We're running some uh, lured 3D lures as well. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. There's a link in the description. But we got there, looked at that fishy, came across them, and this one's coming home for a feed with us. And I think the rest will be tagging for the day if we come across any more. How oh, good, well done gents. As always guys, if you are keeping your fish, what I like to do is leave them straight down here on either side. That blood will just pull out and then straight onto ice. It's about as fresh as you can keep it. Yeah, literally everywhere. Not long until uh, these rods go back off, but a second ago we were resetting the spread and both of the lures got hit. We just weren't ready to set them. There's tuna everywhere, this is madness. Come on. Hit. Hit one. <laughs> on the team round again. <laughs> you, you take it, you take it. Right. Come on. Get the hook on him. I better put this down so I can help. So because we are, oh, they're jumping right behind us, this is insane. Uh, because we are planning to uh, tag this tuna, just getting a wet towel so when we get it on board, we're touching it as least as possible. And we're just going to get a tag ready as well. Alright, so what we do is we cover him with the towel, try not to touch him too much. Try and get that... Get that towel over the eyes. Get a quick measure on him. Tags going in. All right, and he is about what's that? About 75. All right, we'll give him a bit of a swim and see if we can get him back. Let's get those troubles off. Yes, probably before that can bring him Hey, sorry to interrupt your viewing pleasure, but we've got more action coming up. If you would like to support the channel, feel free to head over to tazcast.com.au, grab a shirt, and we'll throw a couple of stickers your way. Let's get back into it. Yeah, this one's caught on mine. Uh oh, I'm coming under here. Ah. I find this moment really funny and I'm just going to let this clip play out for you. Although yeah. we've got two fish that are pretty much boat side, when you are tagging you're on a fine time restraint and everybody plays a pivotal role to get these fish safely back in the water. So you can see how chaotic this gets and everybody is doing their utmost best to ensure that we get these fish back safely with the tag. Alrighty, so going for another tag on this one. Just gotta get this up on the other way. Yep. Tag it. Yep, I'll get the tag in. Alright, we got a tag here ready to rumble. It's gonna go straight into the pictorial frame. Just here. Quick little little twist. He's out. Now 
Now we are using a single hook, so there shouldn't be too much blood. Got a good one there, Todd. Alrighty. This one is ready to go. Better get a quick size on him. It's about 80. This one is going home. See you, buddy. Better get another tag ready. Alrighty, oh that's a beautiful model. You beauty. Pop another tag in. <laughs> that is a nice tuna. Bass straight tuna. What do we think about that, gents? <laughs> How bloody good is that? What do we reckon? He's about 85. Yeah. He'd be 85, probably 15, 20. Alright, let's get him back in. The tag's in. You beauty. Yeah! <laughs> Double. Woo! Hell yeah! What a session this is turning out to be. Now the secret recipe to getting onto those ones just then, lured 3D. <laughs> the man here. And look at the dad hand. There's fish. <laughs> there are, there's fish jumping there's behind fish jumping. him. Where did go? We're gonna see if we can find any top water. Loving it. But uh, we got three tags in for the morning. Lured 3D, it's done the job. Can't stress this enough guys, when you are tagging and releasing, we stuffed up on that first and second one that we caught. I, oh. I can't believe this tuna I'm saying. Single hooks. Use single hooks if you're planning on tagging and releasing. The survival rate is that oh. much better. Oh. Nice wet towel like we've been doing. Oh, this bust up that. is just incredible. We've got to find another tuna here, surely. It's a matter of time. We we're just about to start getting the stick baits ready. And we've found them again. You beauty. <sighs> All right. Now guys, watching at home, when there are a couple of hookups on the boat, your first priority is to get everything that's left hanging back in the boat so no tangles occur. Better get my leader and gloves on. Yeah, I'll just hang out here with the fish. <laughs> Your mate. Right Your mate. Right oh. Yeah, he's only just hooked though. There he goes. That's what I was worried about. Sorry. That was that was a split ring. Supposed to be the deal with Scotty. Yeah. That was the split ring that came off then. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. I said the title, I said that split ring's rigging the <laughs> There he is. Ooh. Beautiful. What a beautiful looking fish. Very beautiful looking fish. And he's pretty healthy too. Up near the fin there. Yep. There it is. And twist out. Beautiful. Great job. Now this one was caught on the lure 3D lure. It's actually pretty healthy at the moment. Just spat it. Just spat, it. Just spat it. But that is a beautiful, beautiful piece of art that appears to be catching fish. Oh no. Thanks buddy. See you buddy. Have a good day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, we got the call it. Yeah, call it. Wow, oh, that's a big run. Diesel. This one's a big run. Holy shit. Oh god, he's not happy. Go to me! Uh, come on, you wallaby snag! Woo! On to another tuna. We we're just saying that she was a bit quiet. Just been loving these initial runs that they're taking as well. So exciting. Beautiful bluebird conditions. This one's swimming straight towards me. Oh, 
Yeah. Um, what was this one on? This was on the skirt. Oh, I'm a diver. Right. Oh. Visual. Yes. Built up. Oh, no. I'm just gonna... Yeah, he's a good one. Do we want to keep this one? I think maybe we'll keep one more. Is he a good size? Yeah, he's not too bad. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> you can let him go if you want. No, I'm not letting go. Fucking hell, I can't get this off. <laughs> Hope that holds. Hey. <laughs> Where's it going, Gaff? I can't get that off because it's put on the wrong way. Oh, oh dear. Do you want that one? I don't know. We're thinking we might keep one more, but we'll keep hunting for a bigger, bigger model. This one's probably going about 85. I'd say that one's closer to 20. 20 kilos. Uh, able to get the... <laughs> we were able to get the hooks out. So he's going straight back. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Bite for about half an hour, but we've found some turns. Just circling around the one area, headed straight to it just here it looks like it's about oh. to fire up again so if you are hunting for the tuna look for the turns i reckon we could get onto them here it is so common that when you hook up to one tuna you will hook up to another you just need to count to 10 be patient and you will often get another hit here is a prime example of that Oh, okay, go so, yep. Is that alright? Yep. You can go live on that? Yep. Yeah. Under? Yep, yeah, yeah. Right. I can I can go under. Uh, I can get this other one out. Right. Like we're, we're pretty clear. Alright, I'm almost a leader. Oh, look at them all following it. He's got about five tuna following it. Throw a sick bait out, Todd. <laughs> We've got that towel wetted. I'll get a tag ready. That's not a bad model. He's not. Still got plenty in him. Yep. Oh, yeah, not a bad one. Ah. Nice southern blue fin. Ah. Another one coming in. This one's going out. Alrighty, bud. See you later. Woo! Here's off. Done, boys. Another couple. 
Great Ooh. job on the leader ink. Are too, you pooped yet? It's all too easy. <laughs> it is too easy in the bass, right? <laughs> it's just too easy. That is a beautiful creature. Beautiful fish. Isn't he? Absolutely beautiful. Fat as anything, absolutely gobbled the laser pro. I think uh, I think we'll bleed this one and put him in the chili bin. It's gonna be a bit hard to get that out of there safely, so. I think so. Yeah. You ordered that one. Now I think our plan of attack, now that we've got these two, is to just start hitting them on stick baits. Um, hopefully, we can find one on a sticky. Can you uh, go over to the, see where they're busting up the back? Oh, I'm so disappointed. I just got the perfect cast into this school and the wallop on this stick bait, top water, was insane. He's just going for a pretty big run on me, but the slammer took it just then. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, it's nearly boat side. <sighs> Made it happen, top water too, that's great. Oh. Oh yeah, hey buddy, how you going? Thanks for coming. Nice work, yeah, that was so sick seeing it top water. They're busting up just here next to us too. <sighs> how's, how's, how are you? What's the trace on this one? Uh, 80 pounds, so it's almost a tail grab. If you can. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. No, I can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's still got plenty more gas in him, that's for sure. When you get him again, move up the cab, I'll come down and get started. I'll grab the oh. one. Oh, I can't believe that take. It just looks so, it it <laughs> so cool. Awesome, you fish up the cans, you get those GTs. <laughs> Yeah, I love the top water GT takes too. Right, coming on the next turn. Walking back. Just put her in the gear slot. Just the gear. That's it. That's all the takes. Oh, yes, boys. That was a nice tutor on the sticky. <laughs> Thank you for that land. Oh, mate, that is epic. Well, I managed to make it happen on the Keeling 160. Beautiful creature, probably coming in at like, oh, 15, 16. Yep. Might be modest, but he put up a great fight on the circle hook. Might be able to get that out with some pliers pretty easy. But that is the fish of the day for me. I'm stoked. That pen slammer held it so well. We'll get a tag into her and we'll send it on its way. One more bite of dust, another tag in. What a day, what a day. Oh. Well, if you guys are enjoying this episode, hit that like button. Uh, that was on 80 pound mono, on uh, 80 pound braid as well. Done the job, on the stick bait, so stoked. It's my first tuner on the sticky. Oh, all right, keep looking. Pardon? Yeah, righto. I only managed to get one on that hit. We got a bite. <laughs> this would be, uh, we missed a couple of shots just there, but this would be number 11 for the day. 11 tags in. Not bad, but that's great. That's right, that's right. Uh, we've taken two home with us. Uh, however, we're happy. We're on the board, plenty's going on. One top water. And the Talica. You've been itching to wind the Talica in all day, haven't you? It has. It's been taking everything else. <laughs> I think you guys got one on. So when you are tagging, you do put in rough coordinates. What I like to do is sometimes I'll just tap on the screen, roundabout area that we hooked up, and just take a photo on my phone so you can look back at it. It's a nice size. Good model. Hey!
Beauty, what another lovely model. Alrighty, so when we are tagging once again, we want to get it as close to this spin as possible. There we are. And if you want to do the honours, you should put that back in the tree. <laughs> you beauty! Ready to go, here we go. Woo! See ya, buddy. We didn't have the towel on that one, but I think it was healthy enough without it on the single hook. Another thing that we've been using, the odd stray ones that we've been hooking up, we've got the, uh, the cooler witch doctor, and sometimes just trolling at seven knots, that'll bring them up if there's uh, not a whole lot going on. So definitely give these a try. That is sensational. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> Didn't know where I was back. <laughs> yes, you did. You can tell. Yeah. Oh, that is. <laughs> That's surely got a fucking power hook, that car. Hey, got him. Yep. Roll. <laughs> oh, shit. We're on. Go step back to your left. There. there he is. Oh, no, something's happened with my gears on my. Oh, no. Is it right? Yeah. No, he's off. Oh, no. Well, we saw a few more signs top water after cleaning on the way in. I had a quick hook up and on the slammer, unfortunately. She dropped off. Time to service that thing. But that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for joining us. And if I've learned anything today, that is that fishing in the Bass Strait sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Grab a shirt if you feel like supporting the channel. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>